What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to hard flip uh, and in the process of it I'm going to be relearning how to do them myself. I, I used to have hard flips pretty good and then I kind of lost them. I can't really do it on anything like down anything or up anything. It feels like a completely different trick to me uh, but we're not going to be working on that. We're going to be working on hard flips on flat ground. I'll tell you guys what I'm doing and what I feel like I should do. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys learn the process while I learn too. Hard flips are not easy, so you should probably start out with the basics. It's called a hard flip for a reason. Uh, so if you can't kick flip, you can't like fresh up, not that they're the same trick at all, you probably should learn those. I know everybody says that in skate trick tips. They're like, you should learn this trick or that trick first. You really don't have to, but you should. <laughs> don't skip to the hard flip first off. That'd be a, that would be smart. First thing I'll do is show you what a hard flip looks like. Uh, so I'm gonna take one of the clips and I'll land in a few minutes. Cross my fingers that I do, uh, and here it is. So yeah, there you go, that's what a hard flip looks like. You can flip it kind of between your legs, some people flip it kind of behind them, uh, but it's a front shove and a kick flip. And the reason they call it a hard flip, I guess, is because it's kind of like you're spinning a front shove it, but you're also trying to flip your board that way. So it's kind of like the hard way to do it, uh, rather than a varial, where your foot kind of like rolls off the side when you're doing a front or a back shove it, and yeah, it's just easier to do it the other way. All right, first off, let's show you the foot placement. This is how you're gonna set up your feet, and it's gonna be different for everybody else. This is how I set up my feet, and depending on how I'm doing the hard flip, and how I roll up to it, it may be different every time. But uh, yeah, here's how it is. All right, so you got your board. Yes, mine is a little chipped up, and I know my shoes are about to fall apart. I'm trying to skate them till they, they actually do fall apart, so that way I get the, get the life out of them. I generally put the front foot a little bit pointed, because uh, it's kind of like a kickflip. I, I do my kickflips kind of like that with my front foot, but it's a little bit different uh, because you're kicking off more to the side uh, to get that hard flip motion. That's how I imagine it, it's kicking straight behind you almost, but a little bit forward so you can obviously get off the ground uh, and get your foot out of the way. But yeah, you kind of want to kick it right there, and it's mostly all in your front foot as far as like the actual motion of the board and getting it to flip and spin, but your back foot does some, have some kind of roll in it. I pretty much put my, my back foot back here on the tail about right there I feel like so that way I kind of get the like because as soon as you pop it already starts to shove when you're popping right there you shove it that way and you're trying to at the same time kick the ball this way yeah pretty much how you want to set up your feet it's kind of like that I think probably the hardest part of a hard flip is actually like getting your feet out of the way so that's what you got to work on flip it move your feet and throw them back and stay over top of your board and sometimes you can try flipping it through your legs if you can if you can do it like that because i feel like it, it's, it's a little bit easier so that way you don't have to get out of the way as much it's already like kind of in between your legs and your legs are out of the way hopefully it doesn't take me too many tries here we go uh, my immediate thing that i already know i'm gonna have a problem with i've got to make sure i flick it's all about the that flip you've got to get the kick flip <laughs> I landed it. I did exactly what I was talking about. That time I actually focused on it. I was like, all right, make sure 100%. I feel like I kind of kicked down a little bit more so that way, like if you notice, I was missing the full flip. But as soon as I kicked down and out a little bit more behind me, I got it. That's all it is. And then you have to learn how to catch it. That's the hard part. I'll say we're going to split me right now. Get the flip. Obviously go for trying to land it, but uh, I'll do a few more for you guys. Primos are fun. That was an overflip though, so that's good. That one looked a lot cleaner though. Woo. All right, here's the goal. I'm gonna get one coming down, come back, turn around the quarter pipe, and we'll get another. I gotta get two in a row. High pocket's falling out. Here it is from another angle. All right, I'm gonna show you like slowly, like how I'm imagining flicking this. Uh, I feel like I almost think of me popping the tail as like I'm just popping it straight up to flip through my legs. Like, 
Like I want you to flip straight back. Like that. Yeah, I got that. So get in the habit of doing that. You can see that's almost a hard flip right there. You just have to give it a little bit of flick to like actually flip it over and catch it. Then you just have to go swoop. <laughs> and get it in my foot in my hand. So yeah, kind of the way you think of it, again, pop it up, and then once it pops up and it's about to flip all the way over, you kind of just get a little bit of kick like off to the side, and it kind of levels it out for you. Uh, it's not as easy as that. Again, it's hard, but uh, think about it that way, and I think you'll get it. And just focus on that kick to the side. Kind of like that. See that? I pop here, throw this foot back a little bit, and throw this one this way. All right, we get a couple. Uh. Alright, see what I was doing there, and you're gonna run into that? You gotta catch the board or you'll line primo if you keep flipping it. And that's not fun, it sucks. There we go. I feel like that last one was actually like one of the better ones I've done. And I got two in a row. Dang, I have a hard flips back. I need to teach you guys more. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys learned something from this video. I want to do something. I want to try something out. I want to see if any of you guys will actually learn how to hard flip from this video. So take my advice. And what I want you to do, if you want to win a hashtag no sleep team t-shirt, not a tank top unfortunately because those aren't for sale yet. Uh, but if you don't win, you can still get them at nosleepteam.com, uh, the t-shirts with no sleep team on them. But all you have to do is post a clip of you learning a hard flip or you landing a hard flip. Maybe you don't have them yet, kind of like me, or you have them like every now and then. Either way, post a clip of you landing a hard flip. It has to be you, it has to be on your Instagram account, and hashtag it, uh, hashtag ties hard flip challenge right there. Uh, what I'll do is a week from now after this video goes up, I will pick a winner from the Instagram posts. I'll give you guys a t-shirt. So if you want to hashtag no sleep team t-shirt, do a hard flip, post it on Instagram. And if you want to even show a few clips of you actually like missing it and trying to land it. Somebody just landed something. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel right there if you wanna see more videos like this. If there's any other trick tips or skate videos you want me to do, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, follow me on Snapchat, uh, Twitter, Instagram. I'll put those right there and down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.